I mean, I feel like it's one of those meant to be moments where it just all came together. So I was flirting with the idea of doing it for a while and thinking and fantasizing about it. And then it just sort of kind of came to me. And um, the Zappos team is incredible, first of all. I got to meet everybody that runs the company, Tony, and and go to downtown Las Vegas and see all the difference that they're making with just, it's just an incredible company, creative. And um, I think being part of that gave me a lot of inspiration. Just meeting those guys gave me a lot of inspiration for the show. And everybody in Vegas and Planet Hollywood, they've just been so welcoming and just giving me the confidence to be like, yeah, this is what's gonna happen next. Like, cause you know, in life you sort of like, what's gonna happen next? What should I do next? And then it just appears there and this feels very right and feels like the next chapter. Um, I feel like when I started putting the show together in my mind, I wanted it to feel kind of like my own life journey. I mean, all of my songs that I've written have been basically my life story, and I've shared that with people around the world, and um, it's just been kind of an exchange of love. And songwriting and sharing your story through songs, are, it's just so healing both ways. So I wanted to have a little bit of that, of course. I mean, that's basically the, the, the basis of the whole thing. And then I wanted to indulge my creative theatrical side that um, I love so much with fashion and costumes and, and just giving people that night out. I mean, I think it's, it's a big tall order playing Vegas because you're competing so much with the night and the weekend and that time off that people have and it's not really just about you. So I think that in itself is gonna be something that's gonna really fuel my fire because I, I, like, I like that challenge. And so um, the show's really just gonna be kind of me giving myself my story and, and getting the love back that I crave. I think after uh, people see the show, I just want them to kind of walk away going, wow, I remember all that. Like, I lived that with her. And um, and they did, you know, and, and I think that like revisiting all those old songs and realizing all the different phases, you know, the, the old school, like no doubt phase and then going into the, the solo period of, of dance music and then where we're at kind of now. And so it, it's, it is a lot of music. It's crazy when I started to put the show together to realize I do have that much music. It's really, that part of it is gonna be really nostalgic for me and I hope people walk away having that nostalgic feeling as well. What I love about Vegas shows is they, the costumes and the theater and the drama. So I think that this is an opportunity for me to really indulge in that drama and theater, something I've not really done. And I think what makes my show different is because I didn't come from that world. I came from a garage band. Um, I didn't have anything. I didn't have costume changes. I, I basically made my own clothes, I grabbed them from a thrift store and did my own makeup. and. So I have that part of the show, which is gonna be really my DNA, who I am, and then everything else is sort of icing on the cake. So I think that makes it a little bit different because there's just that history. I think energy-wise, it's gonna be a lot different because just Vegas alone, even when you're on your own tour, is different. There's just something different in the air when you come here. But um, it's also going to be different because there's people coming from all over the world to see me in my, like, house, like the, my home. And I'm honored. I'm, I'm blown away. I feel like it feels really like, wow, okay, this is like the cherry on top of the whole life journey I've been on.